We've been talking about the adjusting entries last time. We're going to be looking at the specific adjusting entry this time related to interest. So that's going to be dealing with one of our issues with the loans down below. So we're looking at these loans. I'm going to say the cutoff date is February 28th. Oftentimes you might see a cutoff date as the year end cutoff date. We're trying to make our financial statements correct as of this point in time. And one of the issues with the loans might be that we had some interest that has been incurred that we have not yet uh, recorded. And interest can be a little bit of an abstract concept. It's a little bit more concrete. A lot of times in people's minds, you can imagine if you're renting a building, for example, you got your office building there. And for whatever reason, you were able to negotiate a deal with your landlord saying, I'm going to use the building for the next year and I won't pay you until after that time, the year after I've used it, right? After it's been used for a year, then I'll pay you after that. And if you, obviously deals like this, you can imagine them happening as long as you paid them enough money to be paying them at a later point in time and they trusted you and so on. And in that case, you would say, well, if you report the expense after you use the building, then it's not exactly correct because you consumed the use of the building from an accrual standpoint in the prior year. So if you report the expense in the following year, you have a timing difference. You would think you would have to report the expense of consuming the building when you used it. The same could be done said for the interest. Interest is basically rent on the purchasing power of the money. You've got money so that you could buy property, plants and equipment and generate revenue on it. And if and if if they if they when you pay back the rent on the money, if you've consumed some of the purchasing power, you should be applying the rent on the money, the interest to the same period that you used to consume it. That's the basic concept we're going to here.